Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Music Madness. So glad that you've joined us. We've been working through some of our favorite hymns, trying to decide what our favorite ones are. So we're going through a bracket of our favorite songs. We've made it through round one, and this is our first look at round two. And as tough as round one was, it just keeps getting harder. We're going to vote for our favorite songs, and hopefully these two will get it right no. and agree with me. Last time they tried to not do that and just, I think, messed up the whole thing. We almost had to throw the whole thing away. Uh, but we're still going forward and we're in the second round and uh, we're excited to share some of these songs and our thoughts with you and hope that you will enjoy talking about these songs as well, sharing what you love about them and what your favorites are. So we're going to jump right in to our first bracket of round one, and this is not easy. Here we have Amazing Grace versus Power in the Blood. Ooh. Two wonderful songs, two favorite songs. I'm not sure how we're going to choose, but let's talk about it. Again, I would like to say Amazing Grace should have just been at the top all the way along, and then we wouldn't have to vote. <laughs> Jeanette doesn't think Amazing Grace should be included in this which would be ridiculous. It would be like having, uh, talking about the top basketball players of all time. We just won't talk about Michael Jordan. It's just- Well, he's he, in a league of his own. You still talk about him because he's- a We can talk player. about Amazing Grace. I just don't want to vote for, for or against it. <laughs> this is so bizarre. I don't know. Um, hopefully she will vote. Ethan, what do you think about these two songs? If there was any other song, I'd pretty much be picking Power in the Blood. But it's not any other song. Right. So I have no amazing grace. And can I assume you who don't think it should even be in here are going to vote for it? Well, I have to. I mean, it's it, you can't vote against it. <laughs> well, we'll see. Uh, but not this time. <laughs> I'm going to vote for Amazing Grace as well. I love Power in the Blood. Such a great song. So, uh, so powerful in and of itself. I love to hear it in, in church. But uh, Amazing Grace is one that it, it will be tough to beat. We'll see if any song can beat it. I don't know, what do you think? Uh, but let's move to our next, wait, oh yes. How am I supposed to choose between these next two songs? These next I two know. are gonna be really tough for Ethan because he loves all songs about the cross and here we have two of the best songs about the cross. In this bracket we have The Old Rugged Cross versus Were You There? Both very deep, meaningful songs, introspective. What do we think about these two songs. Well, this is another song that I don't even think should be in here because it should just be up there with no Amazing Grace. Should we shouldn't be arguing about which song is the best. They're all number one. Why That's are we right. even doing this? This is true. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> These are two of my most favorite songs and they're both very thoughtful. Um, they both have wonderful lyrics. Um, were You There is a very um, reflective song, and I really like that because of that. Um, but The Old Rugged Cross, I don't know that anything can beat it but Amazing Grace. <laughs> we'll find out. Maybe. Yeah. Ethan? I'll go next. Um, one of your analogies was, if it's on the radio, which song are you going to listen to? Right. 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 This one I like to be, if I'm at the cross, looking at the cross, which song would I be listening to? Oh, Which song would be going through my head? That's mm -hmm. thoughtful. And that would be Were You There? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Making me think. That is a, oh. it's a great song. And, and the, the idea behind Were You There is that mm -hmm. in many ways we were there. Mm -hmm. Jesus was thinking about us when he was on the cross. That's what kept him on the cross. Uh, man, I love both of these. I'd probably pick a different song every day. Uh, but I'm going to go with The Old Rugged Cross. I think that is uh, <laughs> like my number two. <laughs> that is uh, a great tune, and I want to see what Jeanette does next time when they come head to head. Okay, our next bracket has two great songs, too. I love both of these tunes. I, it's just going to get harder and harder as we go through this. we got to accept it. So here we go. Jesus is Coming Again is a wonderful Adventist tune. If you haven't heard that, I encourage you to just uh, search it out, listen to it. It's a great song about the second coming of Jesus' return versus a classic, a wonderful song about God's presence. Precious Lord, take my hand. 
Who I can let you guys go first. You want me to go first on yeah, this one? Yeah, I'm gonna have to flip a coin. This is really tough. Uh, I love both of them. They're different songs, uh, but uh, I think I would go with "Precious Lord, Take My Hand." I think I have known that song longer, and so maybe that gives it a little bit of an edge. Uh, and it's one of those songs that I can turn to on one of those few days where I'm having a bad day. I normally have good days. I'm normally always upbeat and excited. Uh, but some days are tough, and that's a song that's very helpful on those days. So I'll go with that, but I can't really argue the other one. Unlike you, Mr. Depression, I'm going to go with <laughs> happiness. <laughs> Jesus is coming again. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So Jeanette gets to be the tiebreaker. Where's the coin? <laughs> uh, Precious Lord, Take My Hand, again, goes back. I've known it a lot longer. Um, Written by a guy. After he had tragedy right. in his life. Right, okay, depression. <laughs> and that song came to him after he didn't want to make any more music. That song came to him. What was his name? Oh, man, you just threw me. <laughs> to Tommy Dorsey. Oh, so you're not making it up. I, I thought you were making it up. No, I'm not making, 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 making that up. <laughs> it's a real song. Google it. It's a real story about that song. I thought you were just being like, oh, it's so sad. This guy, like, his oh, whole family true. died. Take my song, please. <laughs> right, it's right. True. That's what Lost. I thought. Your dad does that a lot. Um, but I think I'm going to have to go with Jesus is Coming Again. Oh, yes. There's, oh. You know, you, you, Precious Lord, Take My Hand is for on the way there. Him leading you there. But Jesus is Coming Again. What an exciting song. I think if you we know, played those hold two. Hold on to that so that. I have some joy in my heart. If you play those two back to back, I think you would. Maybe tomorrow, but today I'm going with Eva. Okay, they've messed things up okay. again, but we'll we'll try to press on uh, as best <laughs> we can. I should have veto oh. power, shouldn't I? No. no, I think I should. No. Okay, next bracket is "It Is Well with My Soul," which again, I guess you guys aren't going to vote for because it's too <laughs> too much about you know hard times and stuff. No, it's not. Oh, okay, it's not. So it is well with my soul. Coming head to head against just as I am. I think Ethan gets to vote first. This I time. get to vote first. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Um, maybe, maybe he doesn't. <laughs> maybe I don't go. Uh, I'm gonna go with it as well with my soul. Um, I probably like the meaning more, just as I am, but I do like the song part of it more. Is it as well? Okay. I'm gonna go with that one as well. Uh, Love both these songs, but it is well with my soul is is just a Jesus powerful like song. A minority. That's right. I, I mean, shouldn't be in a minority, <laughs> but you guys should know better. Uh, but Jeanette, are you going to agree? Or are you going to? Oh, I'm definitely way? agreeing. Okay. That, well, yeah, I love this song. Uh, this song has been there since I was young, but has much more meaning now. Uh, go up one. Go up one. Yeah, this one. I think we did. Oh no, we, no, we didn't. Okay, you got it. You got it. I know what I'm doing. He does. He does. Okay. Ooh, love both of these songs. Oh, dang. Oh. I'm in turmoil. I didn't know this one was coming this so is soon. Coming. <laughs> right. Christ the Lord is risen today versus when we all get to heaven. You skip. <laughs> Come back no, to it. No, you wouldn't let me skip mine. <laughs> what? Because. We should all have one, like, one skip. <laughs> no, then we could have a tie in voting. <laughs> it wouldn't work. These are two great songs. How in the world are we going to choose? Who wants to go first? Anybody? As a thought, I have to sing the lyrics in my head for a We've moment. We've got the Easter <laughs> song, Christ the Lord is Risen Today. Um, powerful, powerful song. Or When We All Get to Heaven, What a Day That Will Be. Both great songs. I can go first because I think I know. I will vote for When We All Get to Heaven. It's an all inclusive song. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, it goes back to Jesus is Coming Again. And then we all get to go to heaven, and, and what a wonderful day that will be when we see people who we haven't seen, people who have died, mm -hmm. and we all get to celebrate together. Very good. You want me to go next? You can go next. All right. Well, we're going to put Ethan in the hot spot. I'm going to go with Ooh. Christ the Lord is Risen Today. I love that song. It is about the, the power of, of the cross <laughs> and about the victory at the tomb. We don't get to heaven without the cross. Uh, of course, when we all get to heaven, is a wonderful tune. I love to have that song, especially at the end of a church service. Uh, but Christ the Lord is risen today. Man, when that is played, it is just 
uh, so uplifting, so inspiring. So I'm choosing that song, which again is about the cross. About the cross. Remember just, what my just saying goes, if I go like this. Um, okay. Yeah, I, uh, yeah we, we can't pressure that way. That's just wrong. <laughs> well, I'm going to go with when we all get to heaven. <gasps> they are wrong twice <laughs> in one bracket. This is horrible. This is just... Oh my goodness. Well, no, apparently no. I love the cross. I don't know about these two. No, no. Both great songs. You love Jesus dying? I love the cross. <laughs> yes. Without him dying, we have no hope. That's why we call it Good Friday. But of course, without Sunday, there's nothing good about Friday. But wonderful songs, but you guys were wrong. Correct. Wrong. Very wrong. All right. So let's go to this next one. Uh, Nearer my God to thee versus to God be the glory. Things he has done. Um, both good songs, both powerful songs, mm -hmm. loving songs. What do we think? I'll go first. Go ahead. I'm gonna go with "Near My God Today." That <laughs> if you can say it, <laughs> if I can say it, no matter if I can say it, that's what I'm going with. Um, I like the this was one with the Titanic, right? With when it was sinking and they were playing yeah. Um, yeah, by yeah. Them, I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, when I heard about that I was like whoa that's so cool mm -hmm. and, and you love that movie right? no <laughs> does not like that movie I don't either uh, Jeanette do you have a I'll, I'll, uh, I'll go next I'll go last that okay. was the best part of the movie though um, I really don't know on this one I could be persuaded either way we'll just go for um, it <laughs> I think we'll make it hard on Jeanette this time I'll don't, say don't risk being wrong again I, you know, and I can't even argue much on this one. <laughs> to God Be the Glory is, is a great song about uh, what God has done all throughout creation and the Bible, and it's uplifting. It's uh, an exciting tune, so I think I'm leaning that way today. Tomorrow, I'd probably pick Near My God Today. I am going to make you a loser <laughs> again. What is going on? <laughs> wrong. <laughs> You've okay. been more wrong in this video than you have been in the, the entire time. Time. I know. other episodes. I need some replacements. <laughs> I mean, let's get some new people in here to oh, who have no. some better thoughts. Near My this. God to Thee the is just, again, a very thoughtful, lyrical song it is. that um, I just really identify with, with the lyrics on that one. Mm -hmm. Good tune. Can't argue it. Uh, here, let's see if we can get some arguing going again on this one. Uh, two songs that have made it into the second bracket. Battle Hymn of the Republic versus I Come to the Garden Alone. You want me to go to first? Oh, I already know we, we already know yours. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, mine is definitely I Come to the Garden Alone. Even though it has, well, I guess I can't. Right. Yeah, has, you've already made that joke. Yeah, but I have something <laughs> else. You may be choosing I Come to the Garden Alone, but even though that has nothing to do with you, I'm choosing Battle Hymn of the Republic even though I've never probably fought not, never fought in a battle. <laughs> <laughs> I just I always feel like the Battle Hymn of the Republic is a wonderful song and it's very uplifting and and, and um, has a lot of um, encouragement to it. But I feel I feel like it's even though it has him in the name, I don't feel like it's a hymn. I feel like it's a national hymn. Uh, yeah, it, it's very patriotic. So I feel like it's more about that than. And I. Love our country, yes. unlike my wife. <laughs> and so I'm going to go with Battle Hymn of the Republic because it is, uh, it has patriotic connotations, but it is about. Uh, I'm just more thoughtful than you are. It is about the cross, it's about, about Jesus, going it's about. The garden. It's about alone and talking to God. Well, that's talking alone. to Jesus, spending time with Him. Alone? Well, yeah, I don't want you there. No. It is a good song for Corona. <laughs> corona. It's a great song for the virus and the pandemic. This of course is true. You do this is true. Uh, but Surprise, it's not your favorite song. <laughs> true. You like to be alone all I the time. But that's outside. Oh, it's true. <laughs> true, I like true. to be inside. I come to the Lord alone in my room. <laughs> all by myself. <laughs> okay, I think this is our last one for, oh, this, for this section. And these are two, oh. uh, two classic hymns uh, here in the second round. How Great Thou Art, a very powerful song coming up against What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Who would like to go first in this one? Because I'm struggling right now to know what to this, pick. We might Struggle have a lot every of, round. We I could have your worst, worst uh, nightmare here where it has uh, silence on the air. 
like, oh man, we can't have that. So you have to keep talking. Ethan, you know what you want. What? What is what commercial you break? break. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back after this. <laughs> we'll be right back in about 24 hours once we decide. <laughs> after listening to these songs multiple times, um, we'll decide. I'm going to choose how great that are. Why? I do not know. <laughs> because you don't want a friend. I want a friend in Jesus. Of course you do. I love friends, and I'm going to pick what a friend I think of Jesus. I think of God more than a friend. I see him as a closer friend in realizing how great he is. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Well, he is my friend. He is my savior. I'm <laughs> <reading>. <laughs> <laughs> what we got here in these two songs, how great uh, thou art, is the, it's the transcendence, the power, the glory of God, mm -hmm. versus what a friend we have in Jesus. That's the eminence, the closeness of God. So, man, how, can, how can you pick? Uh, boy, I, I think I'm going to go with what a friend we have in Jesus. That is just a great song, but I'm not sure that if, uh, if we're going to pick the other one a different day. So that's where we stand after this round. We've got some great songs coming up for the rest of the second round. And like I said at the beginning, this is just gonna get harder. These two are probably gonna continue to get songs wrong. So please write something in the comments about how wrong they've been. Nope. Give me some backing. Let, let them know that they should listen more uh, to what I say. I, after all, am a pastor and used to be a DJ. I've gotta be right, right? Well, no. Well, Ugh. you weren't both at the same time. If you were a DJ about him songs, then oh, maybe you had so some DJ. leeway. <laughs> But, like, no, you weren't a DJ at the same time. Now you're a pastor, and you have no music sense now. I have plenty of music Gave up one for the other. <laughs> so much. So, well, we'll see how much arguing happens next time at Music Madness. Thank you for joining us. Uh, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, share it with your friends. Uh, talk to others about your favorite hymns. We'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.